hey friends welcome to the part 74 we are looking at real questions now you can click the link in the description become a cloud kernel member it will give you access to more important questions free content plus paid content will elevate your chances of clearing the certification please subscribe to this channel if you have not done yet so many people have passed the certification using these contents so like i say we try to understand the concepts using the questions for example there are four options here we would go uh, against each option each option is just like a concept for us and that is how um, real certification preparations are done so what should a user do if user loses i am secret access key so suppose you have a house key you lose it what do you do so a says that we would retrieve the access key so it is like hey you know what i will go and ask my security guard to give me the keys will that work the security guard does not have a backup of your key so how will he or she give it back to you a b says that okay i will go and create a new key hey buddy somebody already has a key to to a house so they have free access to a house when you are not there so why will you create a new key so this is like you create a new user itself okay so so before that there is an option you can rotate the secret access key here. rotation is possible so the same attribute you know each key has uh, arn that is i think amazon resource number so if you rotate the key the arn remains the same you just get a new key and the old key is removed so now people may ask hey what is doesn't secret uh, rotating the key means getting a new key yes boss but it is getting a new key and disabling the old key that is the difference between point number two and sorry point number b and point number c that is a difference b is not cancelling the old key c is cancelling and deleting the old key and making sure that only the new key now works so if somebody else has your old key they try to get in eh, they will not be able to get in because it's kind of they have you have replaced the lock and you have the new key now so the old key will not work for this new lock okay so this would be the final answer see d says that we will get a new key from aws support see aws support has nothing to do with these small trivial problems they will tell us you rotate the secret key yourself okay so it is like you are now going to the builder itself aws support is just like you are going to the builder and telling hey can you give me a new key the builder says boss i gave you the apartment i gave you the handover and you took the handover 10 years back now uh, i'm gone i'm developing new projects so why will i help you well, this would be our final answer now you can pause this video read this portion carefully it explains how to rotate access keys Okay. you can pause it and read it okay that is one question now let us decode one more question see this question is a docker question okay so what you do with docker you can package your code okay you can build test deploy application so it comes as a container container is just like a box imagine a gift box from amazon now you want to do it and but you are saying that i don't want the headache of managing the underlying servers okay because you don't have people you don't want to hire see normally what happens people hire people 
they will hire administrators they will hire people who can understand operating systems and so on so the company says was nothing doing and now i am on cloud why should i worry about servers you are already saying that so many services are serverless okay <clears throat> it's like uh uber uber does not own a vehicle okay i'm giving you a layman example uber is saying that i want customers i want to do business but i don't want to own any cab own any car that is how uber is working they have they are just aggregators the car belongs to someone else similarly here servers are saying boss you take care of the server so i will only earn money see whenever you see docker right i'll give you my thumb rule whenever you see docker bin stock bin stock bin stock this is very good for deploying and scaling web applications so first of all docker is primarily used for building applications mostly web applications that is one thing okay and see you don't want to manage server it says you focus on writing code and not focus on provisioning and managing infrastructure that is the advantage and the moment you talk about serverless that means you have to use forget in the docker context if this service is born for containers dockers and so on it is going to provide serverless compute so you don't have to worry about managing servers simple thing it will take care okay that means here they are saying deploy manage your applications not infrastructure okay so forget removes operational overhead suppose you want to scale up you want to patch you want to secure you want to manage servers nothing man docker you when you are using forget will do everything for you see cloud front why do we use if you have use case similar to netflix or amazon prime okay then what is the use case that viewers should be able to see the videos fast low latency high performance you can also say x videos must be also using such things okay in the docker context we do not use ec2 okay we do not use ec2 auto scaling there are separate services built for containers and dockers and that service is not ec2 this will be our answer so uber says i don't want to own a cab so what we are doing we are giving them bin stock which and forget which will uh, avoid or uh, which will help you go serverless the cab would not be yours but you make money out of it simple see this question comes very frequently you have 60 terabyte of data lot of data okay you want to move to aws cloud so if you see the options you know, b c and d they are the storage options that means when they move when data moves to aws then it can be stored here but boss how will you move it the question is saying how will you move it you cannot move it to ef through efs you cannot move it through s3 that is your final destination you will need a snowball edge device so this one you can accelerate moving your offline data or remote storage to the cloud so a box you know you you go and tell amazon send me snowball device box comes you copy the data and you courier it back to aws aws will copy it you can tell where you want it if you want it in s3 bucket they will copy it in s3 bucket and so on so this is the process you can pause this video read it with the process i explained no you get a box then you send the box copy the data and send the box back so this you can pause it read it carefully so this would be our final answer now next question says 
see there is a gaming company okay and they were on premises the entire world was on premises at least five years back now they are saying okay boss let's go to aws so aws certification always will tell you such scenarios that now they want to go to aws and see it's a gaming application and they want high availability because if there are down times then the players will say hey this gaming application something like roadblocks so they will say this is not good and uh, let's play other games you will lose business you will lose customers they are asking the company needs high availability which benefit does cloud provide so high availability is not security because security is that bad players should not gain access to your data high availability is not security it is not agility also high availability is not agi agility means if more user comes you your system is so agile that it adds more compute dynamically okay and b we saying shared responsive model so high availability is not a part of shared i mean see everything is shared responsibility but uh, whose responsibility aws is responsibility or your responsibility so this we this is an incomplete solution it is not clearly saying whose responsibility so we are left with reliability see high availability means if uh, one data center goes down the application is still running on other data center and you are not losing customers you don't have downtime so that means the system is re highly reliable See, you should read this part of the documentation this is on reliability and uh, uh, you should also go and read five pillars of the framework this is uh, which framework well architected framework framework so all design should follow these guidelines these are design principles so reliability is like if uh, a project manager says hey i want i have a challenging work so he, he will give it to a, the more most reliable person he will not give it uh, to someone who is not reliable so how is most reliable uh, why i am saying he and not she because usually uh, okay usually i have seen he to be most reliable uh, yeah, i'm at least 80% of the times so, okay I, I i know it feels bad but uh, Uh, uh females have to do something uh, to build the reliability okay uh, at this point i have seen spent decades in the organizations various organizations it is usually he in my case i have seen 95% he so i'm not sure if uh, I, i was a special one to get this kind of stats but reliability pillars <coughs> uh they will the project manager will rely on a person and how does the reliability build it's built because every time you give a workload it is functioning correctly this guy delivers it correctly and consistently so you know that this person is reliable okay uh, that is one thing so this is the final answer let us look at the next one see you are already using ec2 instance and you know that a particular time a uh, surge happens surge happens means you know that for example um a particular time like youtube if it is india time 9 pm onwards people are more active on youtube watching videos and so on okay so that is how they know that they are more active now what happens is you want to ensure that you have enough instances to meet surges simple if you are on ec2 and if you need to scale up automatically you have to go for so ec2 auto scaling this is a feature which is given by aws and remember that aws is just checking your knowledge on the aws features so do not try to be creative okay and uh, propose custom solutions because nobody is interested uh, in your custom solutions you may be a very good high iq person but uh, like i tell always in order to clear this certification you don't require high iq okay and you can add right amount of compute whenever you need and it can optimize workload performance and cost also so this would be the final answer 
see lambda it is about serverless so you can ask hey can i move my ec2 workload on lambda the problem is uh, it says surges in traffic occur every weekday at the same time and lasts for four hours see lambda will last for 15 minutes only it cannot take loads which take more than 15 minutes so you can pause this portion of the documentation to read uh, like this 15 minutes time limit so a would be wrong and this cloud watch events this is the eyes if you want to monitor something it is a monitoring solution uh, lambda is a compute solution but cloud watch event is a monitoring solution and elb will <clears throat> just help you with balancing your loads okay it will not it is not a compute see you need compute now you may say that uh, you already have ec2 instances you already have a fleet of ec2 instances and search of traffic is happening so i will balance it properly okay see when the surge happens no? uh, you have to ensure enough instances are available okay so it is not that the load balancing is not happening properly if you have more work you need more people it is not that the team lead is not assigning the work properly and efficiently so this would be the final answer now let us look at this next one so here a uh, company needs stateless network filtering for its vpc which aws tool feature will meet this requirement okay you need network filtering okay then let us scan see if i, I if i try to answer it in a stupid way i see the word network and i see the word network and this would be my answer it sounds stupid but this is how i answer see you know this private link this one it's like you establish connectivity between vpcs and aws services without using the internet so you have your dedicated line it's very costly for example like in the layman's term if there is a apartment complex and what are you doing you just buy an apartment right but people who are rich no? people who are rich like ambani's they buy they own the entire building itself okay so private link is for rich people but it is not uh, used for network filtering okay that is the thing and security group like if you want to say hey these are the people who can access and these are the people who cannot access the resources so it acts like a firewall virtual firewall for ec2 instances you can control what are you controlling you are controlling incoming and outgoing traffic okay so you can create inbound rules like to control incoming traffic and outbound rules see default you no know, this uh, everything is all so anybody can come and screw your systems security group will not help you with filtering network filtering okay and waf you know that waf is a, a security solution for web exploits it like i'll show you here what it does is like there are sql injections cross site scripting no? so then it will help you prevent those attacks okay so we are not looking for a security solution to prevent attacks right so we are looking for network filtering so uh, you can pause this video here and read this article on network access control so it allows or denies inbound and outbound traffic and you can use the default network acl for a vpc or you can create a custom one as well yes this is a good article you can pause these sections these are the basics this would be our final answer so you need to audit the resources and uh, you need an audit solution so like i always say why why do you need audit solution because 
it must document any changes that have been made to the resources so audit solution is config config will keep the audit it will tell you like uh, you know you see this word audit it will maintain that like who changed the configuration suppose ec2 instances uh, you have your web application on ec2 instance and it is not performing well so you can go back and see if somebody changed the configuration or any changes were made so you can audit basically that is the advantage and you can enforce compliance also so this should be our answer see cloudwatch is a monitoring solution so when we talk about monitoring that means if you want to monitor a resource and check like it the, did the cpu exceeded or did uh, storage exceeded and so on then you use the monitoring solution of cloudwatch and inspector is a security solution okay it's not an audit solution so it's kind of you know a vulnerability management solution so it will immediately discover it has some ai built in and it will immediately discover for software vulnerabilities or unintended network exposure okay so inspector is wrong in this context and artifact see we always hear about compliance like hipaa compliance oxley balin compliance and so on so uh, you can access the security and compliance reports using aws artifact okay and you can download the reports you can accept the agreements and so on the use cases is if you want to understand aws security and compliance posture like what uh, find audit issue reports like if people if you are saying that the system is hipaa compliant so do, do you have reports certificates uh, issued by the relevant authority and so on so artifact is wrong in this context because it is not a audit solution so config is a audit solution See, you need a file storage solution and you need it for this smb the moment you see smb you, know, you should think about windows only smb means windows simple it is not linux so efx efs is for linux only efs no so see first thing is if you want smb you don't have to um think about s3 the s3 is wrong uh, why s3 is wrong see s3 is a object storage and we need a file storage you see this file storage now this is also wrong ebs because this is a block storage which is not a file storage it is a block storage okay so and among b and c is e b efs is linux system it is not a windows system whenever so it will not support smb whenever you see smb you should think of windows system this would be our final answer see you want to create a no sql database in this next question so the moment you see no sql right so aurora is out of question because uh, aurora is a relational and it is full sql compatible okay it is for relational systems and then if you look at redshift it is also sql based and usually we use it to store data warehouse you will have to fire sql queries and uh, usually we analyze structured and semi structured data but through sql queries only you you see this familiar sql so redshift is wrong and neptune is also wrong so neptune is like if you have a graph rec database requirement no? graph database can you tell can you think why we use graph database see in amazon you go and you buy something and then it gives recommendations people of who bought this also bought this that's a correlated database so that is what you uh, that's the use case of a graph database so neptune is wrong and uh, we are left with dynamo db so this is a, a no sql database you see this it is a no sql database and it's very fast it is 
uh, database on steroids very fast applications like uber use this so this would be the final answer so towards the end of this video now um, this is the next question but i'll not explain the answer i'll give you the answer and you can think about it so this is the answer and this question is all about support plans so there is no logic to it this is the way it is it is what it is simple so buddy if you have not yet subscribed help us grow this channel and it's a win-win for you as well because you will stay tuned to the latest questions for cloud certifications which cloud certifications aws azure um, google cloud okay and then we also have contents around snowflake so we take care of different certifications uh, if you see in aws there are four or five of them that we have playlist on so we do visit those playlists help yourselves clear the certification and uh, cloud journey we all have to take because uh, you know people uh, i like my cloud journey started long back and uh, like the certificates expire after three years now my certificates are expiring and i am you know, in the process of renewing appearing those certifications again i'm doing it for all of my i have like 15 certifications so i'm doing it for one by one for all of these so life is very busy if we want to stay tuned on these certifications so you i'm pretty sure a lot of you are young young means like younger than me if you are not close to 50 you're younger than me and uh, you know you can do a lot of wonders when i was young i used to think i can make a lot of money and those kind of stuff now at this age i'm kind of you know uh, understood that certain things will not happen there are certain things which i will never get in my life so we have to stay content but if you are young uh, make use of every opportunity uh, so that you do not uh, you know have to repent in the future so this brings us to the end of part 74 stay tuned stay focused click the join button below this video or you can click uh, the link in the description become a cloud kernel member for a very small premium you get access to so much important stuff which will help you with certifications